Great to be back here again, and I want to thank Brandon Judd for everything he does. He, he is the leader of the Border Patrol Union. He is one of the people who are on the front line of trying to secure our border in the United States of America, and he's doing so with an extraordinarily hostile president working against him. It's amazing they're able to do what they were able to do, but when you think about the way that President Biden is fighting back against his own border patrol, it takes somebody like Brandon Judd, his strength of character, his stiff spine, his experience in fighting these battles, to know that we have men and women in the Border Patrol on the front line trying to do their job, even though they have their hands tied behind their backs by President Biden. But give it up for our great members of the Border Patrol and everything they do to try to keep America safe. I come here every Thanksgiving to give thanks to the men and women in uniform. We have uh, men and women uh, in uh, this area just to your side, men and women who are members of the National Guard, members of the Border Patrol, and members of the Texas Department of Public Safety. They work every single day to help protect our state. You know, come here and, and thank them because, listen, we, we know – Everyone likes to be with their family during the time of Thanksgiving. That includes members of the DPS and the National Guard and the Border Patrol, but they cannot be with their family members at home. They cannot do what most Americans and Texans would do during the time of Thanksgiving because they are called upon to protect and serve the United States and the state of Texas by working collectively to secure our border. I want to also thank the men and women of the National Guard and Texas DPS for everything they do to protect our state. But listen, one very important point about this, and that is those men and women of the, Bo the Border Patrol, especially the men and women of the Texas National Guard and Texas Department of Public Safety, they should not be here at this time. They should be at home. The only reason why they are here is because we have a president of the United States of America who is not securing our border. If Joe Biden was just enforcing the laws that currently exist, our border would be secure. Because Joe Biden is not doing that, that's exactly why we have to have the National Guard and the Texas Department of Public Safety. But remember this, a president can secure the border. If you go back four years ago, we had the lowest illegal border crossings in something like 30 or 40 years, the most secure border in the adult lifetime of everybody at this event here today is because President Trump put into place five strategies. President Trump implemented the Remain in Mexico strategy, the Title 42 strategy. He eliminated catch and release. He built a border wall. And maybe most importantly, he said, if you want to come to America, come here legally, not illegally. And he said, you are not welcome if you come here illegally. And then in came Joe Biden. And Joe Biden eliminated all of those policies that were put into place by President Trump. And because he eliminated those policies, what has happened to our country has been catastrophic. All-time records have been set the past few years of the number of people coming across the border illegally. Two years ago, we had more than 2.3 million people apprehended coming across the border illegally. This past year, more than 2.4 million have come across the border illegally. Altogether, under Joe Biden, there have been more than 8 million people come across the border illegally. We have to deal with that here in Texas. But increasingly, people are having to deal with it in New York City, in Chicago, and other cities. So I got news for the people in, in Manhattan. 
there have been four Manhattans who have been apprehended coming across the border illegally under President Biden. There have been three Chicagos of the number of people apprehended coming across the border illegally under President Biden. If, if you're in Chicago, if you're in New York, and you're tired of these open border policies, you need a new president. And that's, that's why we've been doing what we've been doing. Because Joe Biden is such an abject failure at securing the border, Texas is using our own money to build a border wall. We've deployed the National Guard, National Guard to put these razor wire border barriers down there. And so what does Biden do when we put those razor wire border barriers that deny people access to America? Joe Biden put a forklift down there and lifted them up and allowed thousands of migrants to enter the country illegally. And then when I put these buoys in the water to stop people from coming in illegally, Joe Biden filed a lawsuit called United States of America versus Greg Abbott. Greg Abbott is going to win that lawsuit. I can tell you that much. But maybe the most concerning thing for our fellow Americans about what's going on under Joe Biden's leadership is the number of people coming across the border who are on the terrorist watch list. If we just look at the people who are known to be on the terrorist watch list, who are known to be apprehended, it's all-time records. What we do not know is the number of people on the terrorist watch list who were not apprehended. Joe Biden is causing a potential terror a threat in the United States of America. A president has one ultimate responsibility, and that's national security. Joe Biden has failed at national security. Well, I'm here to tell you that there is no way, no way that America can continue under the leadership of Joe Biden as our president. We, we need a president who's going to secure the border. We need a president who's going to restore law and order in the United States of America, not letting these criminals run ransack over the stores that you see images of almost night nightly. We need a president who's going to restore world peace as opposed to this outbreak of warfare under Joe Biden. We need Donald J. Trump back as our president of the United States of America. I'm here today to officially proclaim my endorsement for Donald J. Trump to be President of the United States of America again. So join me in giving a Texas-sized welcome to President Donald J. Trump, the former and future President of the United States of America.